Hello, uh, welcome to week number three of Website Wednesdays. Yes, I'm still wearing the same t-shirt. Yes, I'm going to show you how to upload some images to your website, either your own or find some online that you can use. So we've got our website that we've been creating over the weeks. Um, it hasn't changed very much. However, I am going to show you how to add your own images. So if we scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll notice that I've changed... Um, I didn't want, I didn't feel comfortable selling Dante Owens because he was, un, he, he didn't know that we were selling him. So I've changed it so that we're selling me. Uh, I feel like that's a little bit more relevant. Um, anyway, so just below that, just below, or no, sorry, just above this, I want to add in a section uh, which is a little bit about website Wednesdays. Um, so to do that, I'm going to quickly drag in a title, which should just sit above. Uh, I'll drag in an image as well, which I'm going to drag into the right-hand side uh, of that title. And I'll drag some text in below that. Uh, it's all the simple stuff. This is why we use Weebly, because it's so simple. Drag and drop, done. Forget about it, move on with life. This is my favourite thing. What is... Hashtag website. Wednesdays. Uh, so what I'd probably do is put a load of text here. Um, this is all actual words, obviously. So, um, we'd add some text just below that. I'll probably do that later. Uh, right now, we want to focus on the images. So, we've dragged the image element into the website. All we want to do is click on it. We then get given a cool choice, uh, cool choice, whether we want to uh, upload a picture from our own computer or we can search for our own. If you've got stuff, if you've got pictures of your products or pictures of you actually delivering your service, that's preferable because that'll be a lot cooler. Um, so if I clicked on upload from computer, you'll see here that I've got quite a few pictures. This is my desktop, very messy. Uh, so let's upload a picture of Simon, because why not? We wait for that to upload. Usually it's quite quick, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. And you can see, just like that, really quickly, it's put the image in, done, we can forget about it. We can always move it around if we really want to, we can adjust the size of it and all that sort of stuff. The other way that we could do it, if I drag another image element in and drop it below here, um, it's the search function, um, which is quite cool. If you haven't got any of your own images, uh, so I've clicked on the image thing again, it comes up with the same dialog box. If you click the search button at the top, uh, and we can search for stuff. So um, here we might search for giraffes. Uh, we'll click search on that. It's brought us up loads of pictures of giraffes, which is fantastic. However, one thing I want you to notice, up here, you can see the professional photos tab is highlighted. That means they want us to buy them because obviously we really want our money. That's okay. It's their job. But if we click on the free photos tab, uh, we then get a load of photos that we're able to use for free without having to pay for it. So this one looks cool. He looks a very emotional giraffe. Uh, so let's click on that. That's the other way that you can find images to put on your website. So you can either upload from your own computer like we've done, or you can search for images and use other people's, which is cool. Um, a question that does pop up is, can you use Google Images? Sometimes, is it worth the risk? Probably not. One, I know somebody that's been chased for four grand for just saving an image off of Google Images. Um, didn't even have a big website, it wasn't making a lot of money through it at the time. Um, Straight away, boom, no warning, four grand charge for using somebody else's image. Uh, so let's go on to Google. Say we wanted a picture of a carrot. Let's search carrot uh, on images, obviously. We then get loads and loads and loads and loads of pictures of carrots. Brilliant! The only thing is we don't know if we can use it or not. Uh, the way to do that, if you go to search tools, uh, there's a little drop down for usage rights. If you click on that and go down to label for reuse, it rejigs the search and it shows us all of the pictures of carrots that we are able to use. So all you need to do is you click on that, you save it, and then you can upload it to your website. And it doesn't have to be carrots, you can use anything that you want. Just an example. That is how you upload images to your website. There are other things like slideshows and galleries. It's exactly the same thing. You have to upload from your computer to do those but you can upload a big batch of them at a time. You can leave it to do as many as you want them to do uh, and it'll put them all in your website. And it looks really cool. Have a play with it, have fun with it. Images are the most important part of your website. It's a visual thing. Don't just have blocks and blocks of text. Don't just have images, have a bit of both. But mainly it is the images 
and the video, which we will show you how to do as well. Have fun with it. Put some images in, take some cool photos, upload some cool photos, send them out, share it with us. Share it in the pop-up group if you're in the group, or just share it on Twitter. Tell us what you're doing and let us have a look at it. Let's see how you're, going, how you're doing with it. <clears throat> Add some photos.